Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play System Shock 2. Last time we explored the garden area of the recreational deck, and in addition to the fourth digit of the transmitter code, we also found the access card for the crew quarters. So, let's pick it up there. Here we are. This is Xerxes. Remember, replicator restrictions are in place for the good of all of us. All unauthorized database interactions will be dealt with to the utmost degree of the law. Alright, I hear a camera in here. There are at least two levels to the crew quarters. There's the camera. Just out of wrench range. Another entrance. We've already been to this area. So, there's the primary elevator shaft. I think that goes to command, deck six, but let's search the corpse. 20 nanites. An audio log. Delacroix, July 11th, 2114. Regarding turn on transmitter. Mr. Shunt has been online for two hours. Go tell Cortez in the crew section to come out and turn on that transmitter. If this message doesn't reach you soon, they may be able to interfere with the transmission from the breach. Let's search the main room before we go into any side room. Great. Robots. Stuck at the wall like this. That's like Christmas. Okay. No such luck. Not as awesome as I thought, anyway. Incoming damage. 
shots are the worst, y'all. It still doesn't quite matter, because I don't have any of the really good ones yet, but... Robots are in here with all the most good five hours. It makes them especially hard to kill, because... I mean... I could make this go faster with adrenaline overproduction, but it kind of seems like a waste if I don't have to do it to survive. I think maybe I'm getting too greedy. Got nothing. The other robot's body already disappeared. But there's another camera over there. Sir, where are you? One thing I didn't do is a good job checking this central platform, and indeed. We've got six anti-personnel bullets there, which we will recycle. What can I do for you? Where are you, sir? That's not where I first came in. This is. Okay. Alright. Got my pattern locked in now. Hop up here. We got 12 armor piercing bullets. Again, excellent recycling. Where is that thing? Must be on the second level. Let's deal with this camera. I think it's also out of range. There's the bulkhead back to the mall. Lift out of order. There's the bulkhead back to the garden area. We'll recycle his armor piercing rounds as well. Alright, I'm actually going to search the sent primary elevator shaft before I do all of the little individual crew rooms. Well, that's pretty straightforward. Access denied by Xerxes level security. Well, there you go. Alright, now... Let's get back to where we first came in again and start doing side rooms. <clears throat> Ground level first. And growth usually means there need to be some grubs to deal with. So her body's got nothing. These 
through nicer crew quarters. The desk has an audio log. Yang, May 2nd, 2114, regarding victory. Tell your team they may not be able to play. We were down in the basketball court when the Dan Power went out. Again. Irony is, we were ahead for the first time in weeks. Well, we won't be the lapdogs of the Von Braun anymore. Let's keep going. Got another room here. Anything at all? It's like, no. Vodka is recyclable. And he has an expert tech implant, which I'll go ahead and recycle. Alright, I think it's time to head to level 2. Myself. But let's turn left. Just remember we started at lift three in the southwest corner. Let's not get shot. We can help it. Body, we have six anti-personnel shotgun shells and a large beaker, which we'll hold on to till we find some worms. In the desk, there's a side booster. If you're wondering why I'm still using the wrench, it's because for the most part, I still can. Things are really gonna tick up. Uh, not so much on the next deck, Command, but past that, when we get to the Rickenbacker, things are going to get really hairy, and the wrench will be almost prohibitively impossible to use anymore, and we'll be glad we hoarded resources before there. Ten nanites. Steal with the droid first. 
I'm sure this is... Droid handled. What about the egg? This is the out-of-order lift, of course. Well, it releases a swarm if I hit the button. That's fine, but... Is there anything inside it? Interested in letting me search it. We'll destroy the swarms just because destroy the egg just because we hate annelids. Alright, <clears throat> let's search these rooms. Two small beakers go with our large one. Empty desk. Got four bottles of vodka. This guy threw himself a little party before he died. We'll recycle all the vodka. Search the corpse. An athletic sector access card and 20 prisms. You perform well for an in insect. Transmitting cyber modules. We got 10 cyber modules for getting the athletics card. Let's recycle those 20 prisms. What do I have now? 29 modules. 60 away from 4th tier neural capacity. There's a swarm egg. in here. digit of the code is 6. The desk has 47 nanites. That's always handy. And that's it for this room. Let's explore the rest of the crew quarters, though. I hear a cyborg assassin and a grub. Destroyed. 
maintenance tool, which I'll just recycle. In a room that well guarded, you'd think there'd be something better. But no, that appears to be it. Alright, I think we already have the code to this. I think it's 11111, which we found in the mall. Indeed it is. So we have a crystal shard, a suit of heavy combat armor, which we haven't seen before. The Ultratech Class 5 combat armor requires a strength of 6 to equip and is close to the best you can get without continuous power. A weave of titanium Kevlar shielding panels overlays a regenerative polymer gel and provides serious protection from both physical and energy attacks. desk, there are 20 nanites. The body, there are 10 cyber modules, brings me up to 39. And here is an unresearched object. This weapon appears to be a cobbled together mix of both human technology and alien parts. Chemical, Chemical needed tellurium. Well, we've got that here on deck five, but let's get the 20 nanites and recycle the three incendiary grenades. The hanging body has a psi hypo. Here's a potted plant we can recycle. Another room to search. This one seems to be completely empty. Call up that elevator. This is, sort of, this is the last hallway we haven't checked out yet. Search all the rooms in here as well. Nothing inside the room, but let's see what's in this vent shaft. We're off the map. Analyt eggs, of course. Gun, we can unload for five slugs, which we will recycle. We've got 17 nanites, 13 nanites, and on the corpse, suit of standard issue combat armor and three cyber modules brings my total to 42. And almost missed up here a box of six anti personnel bullets, which we will recycle. Now we've been down there, we've seen that, so... Let's stay up here for the moment. Search these last few rooms. Naturally. Rubbed in the corpse. We'll take his liquor and recycle that. On his body, we have version 2 modification software and an auto repair unit. That's it, we're done. The next place we need to go is the athletics sector, but I have a 
couple of other things I want to take care of first. This one's really simple. I'm just gonna fill all my beakers and then recycle them. And I do want to finish researching this bad boy, so... Where is the chemical storeroom? I can't remember which of the two subsections it's in. Well, it's either the garden or the mall, so I guess we should just check them out. Start with the garden. Just peek at my map and see if this is the right spot or not. Yes, this is it. Okay. Let's just get to the chemical storeroom. Which is up. A waves this direction and on the right. Right away, sir. And here's the room. So first, let's find some tellurium. There it is. And we also need some technetium TC. Is that in here as well? No. Nor is it on deck four. There is some on deck three, so I guess that's where we're headed. recycle his slug. I've lost interest in killing everything. 
Alright, let's grab some technetium, since we know we're going to need it. Oh, there it is. Alright, now we just gotta get back to deck five. Now we need to head to the athletics sector, which, if memory serves, is over here. Now we still haven't found a code for this locker. Since I have an ice pick, I just want to see what's in it. Security access compromised. Security like access compromised. Unit activation key, but since I was in the way. Security access compromised. Security access compromised. Yeah, prisms and an activation key. Not worth the much more valuable ice pick. An ice pick is much more valuable, so we're gonna hold on to that. We are with something. I'm sorry. This is unfortunate. We are, we are. Oh, hurry. Up, sir. Run. I'm sorry, I did <laughs> It's not help. the athletics sector. Let's go on in. You are a remarkable example of a pathetic species. I'm uploading some more cybernetic modules. 52 total. She gave us 10 for that. Empty corpse. This way, anyway. That, my friends, is a rumbler. They hit like a truck, but they actually aren't that difficult to wrench. Poisoned. 
Research complete. Research complete. side of its head. This is the next mutation, and hey look! He gave us an organ to research. That is awesome! But, let's... That corpse has an anti-toxin hypo. I don't think there's anything else in here besides the worm piles. There are a couple of other things to do. Before we go up the grav shaft, we need to turn the power back on. Before we do that, let's read the finished research on the Viral Proliferator. Summary. The Viral Proliferator requires an exotic weapon skill of 4. The first modification to this weapon increases the clip size, while the second reduces the ammo usage. Both modifications also increase weapon damage. This weapon releases a host of anti analid virus in an explosive radius. The virus can be tailored to affect pure analids or humans and human analid hybrids. Press and hold down the trigger to fire. When you release the trigger, the viral payload will detonate. Don't let it detonate too close to you when it's set to affect humans. Analysis. This weapon appears to have been cobbled together from both human and alien technologies. Judging by the stock and trigger, it was built by humans. The central hexagonal core is an energy-rich media ringed with receptacles containing nanite virus hybrids. Release of the virus hybrids into the core will cause cycles of replication at nanite rather than biological speeds, building up until the payload is released. Additional energetic charges will disperse the viral payload in an explosive radius. The media must be replenished with analid tissue. These worms must be collected in standard laboratory beakers. The proliferator can be set to release virus hybrids tailored against pure analids or tailored against human or partially human targets. Recommendation. In close quarters against analid foes, this weapon is extremely powerful. It might even hurt analids that are unharmed by other weapons. However, when targeting human targets, it will be hard to avoid damaging yourself. That's fine. Let's start research on this. This is a dense, multi-purpose organ taken from the chest of a rumbler. Chemicals needed to research molybdenum. Do we have that on deck five? We do! Let's head over there before we do anything else. It's... incredibly lucky. I'm sure this is incredibly lucky to get an organ on the first kill like that. We are going to take advantage. I read some numbers. Your <clears throat> organs are treated like rare loot in terms of, you know, enemies' ability to drop them. 
But beyond that, when you're on Impossible, you've probably noticed already, the enemies have a flat 75% chance to not drop anything at all. First you have to overcome that. Then you have to get over the additional hurdle of getting them to drop an organ, so... Getting one on my first kill? That is awesome. Back to the basketball court. I'm finding it much easier to stay sane just running around all of the enemies I can. Here we are back on the basketball court. Now one other thing before we go to restore the power. Remember the training mission? Well, all right, let's check the completed research first. Summary, you've learned how to best target the rumbler for maximum damage. All damage you deal to rumblers will be increased by 25%. Its annelid tissue is particularly vulnerable to incendiary devices. Analysis. This organism is further evolution of the first stage annelid hybrid. Discernible human elements are minimal above the DNA level. Muscle tissue density has increased 20-fold and adrenaline production has increased proportionally. Brain tissue is extremely dense, which would normally indicate a creature of extreme cognitive ability, but the brain stem has atrophied to a useless stub and there is no analog to a human spinal column. All muscular activity is controlled locally by alien cells designed for this purpose. It appears that this creature is an evolutionary stage between an earlier stage human annelid hybrid and a third unknown form. Recommendation. This creature is extremely dangerous, being, in effect, a heavily muscled host designed to protect a highly evolved yet unconnected brain. The peculiar chemistry of this hybrid's brain tissue indicates a latent psionic predisposition. Well, that's interesting. Anyway, now I ask, remember the basketball? Let's make a basket. If we can. Can be hard to do. How do we throw it? Let me check my controls. There's got to be a throw button or something. Maybe not. Maybe I need to get to the upper level and make a basket that way. Well, let's go ahead and cross over to the swimming pool. You see an egg, egg there, one which we can't search. It was just going to drop a grub. That egg is empty. So here's that door we couldn't get through earlier. Let's search outside the swimming pool first. And now let's get down and search the pool itself. All there really is is this one spinning body. 34 nanites on it. Head in here. We've got a charging station, always welcome. A crystal shard in the desk. And back here, the power override, which is what we've been carrying this power cell for the whole time. 
Basketball court lights restored. That's good. Let's head back over there now. Now let's head up the grab shaft. Two assassins. This is gonna be trouble. Two assassins at once. We're gonna wanna use hypno hypnogen hypnosis on one of them. Take him out of the picture. Oh, too far. Now we can hopefully take out the other one without any trouble. Come on. here. He's got a game. Golf. Awesome. There's the transmitter. Before we mess with it, let's look at this. A TC-5 fusion cannon. Poor condition broken. Let's unload the seven prisms and recycle them. Let's go ahead and get all the flavor text on this new weapon. The fusion cannon requires a strength of 4 and a heavy weapon skill of 6. Both modifications will increase weapon damage. The first modification also increases clip size, and the second also reduces ammo consumption. Early experimentation with atomic fusion yielded disappointing and potentially dangerous results. However, scientific tolerances were considerably lower in the UNN military specifications, so Triop rushed headlong into production on these godforsaken devices. Is fusion weaponry incredibly powerful? Of course it is. What is its long-term environmental impact? I have absolutely no idea. Dr. Marie Delacroix, VB Chief Engineer. Groovy. Now... Let's see if we can't make a basket cheesy style. I bet we can just lean forward and get it done that way. Huh, nope. No dice there. The angle was wrong. Not even close. Alright, well if it's gonna go out that far, then maybe we need to try it from the side. Yeah, this this is gonna be the way to do it. Just need to get a little farther forward. Maybe it leans enough. That's what we got the basket all for. Make a basket here, you get an email from the monkeys. That frees up another inventory slot, which is always good. Let's see what that email was. We heard it, but it's from A Bananas, July 12th, 2114, regarding join us? Turn the many against Shodan, and you've been stupid enough to stick your neck out for that overbearing Uber computer. Why not join us? 
While you've been stockpiling ammo, med hypos, and high-tech gadgets, we've collected every last piece of nuts, bananas, and coconuts on board. Just say the word and you'll get plenty to eat, an attractive pursuit companion, and a tire swing of your own. In the end, isn't that what really matters? And finally, we have to turn on the transmitter. We know that the first digit is 1, the last digit is 6, and the middle digits are a 1, 0, which are sequential, and a 4. So it could be either 11046 or 14106. I'll just tell you it's the latter. 14106. You are a remarkable example of a pathetic species. I'm this is some more cybernetic Primary data loop compromised. Primary data loop compromised. The, transmission. the transmission has been tampered with. No matter. We will destroy my creations right here. Stand by. Warning. Data systems compromised. I have weakened Xerxes. I am accessing the primary data loop. I am merging my entity with the ship. My glory is expanding, filling the arteries of this vessel. I am in control. I am... No. It is hopeless. The cancer has spread throughout the, throughout the Von Braun. They fill every, every available crack. And crevice. They overwhelm. There is no option. I, ha I have activated the primary elevator shaft. Take it to deck six. I will tell you my wishes when you arrive. Right, so we got 20 modules for activating the transmitter, which brings my total to 72. That email was Shodan, July 12th, 2114, regarding the cancer. So let's continue doing as we're told. Let's head back to the primary elevator shaft and head up to deck six. More assassins. Wonderful. One thing I want to do before we head to deck six. I've got like almost 900 nanites. And I don't know how long we'll still have access to the replicator here on deck four, so I just want to stock up on cheap psi hypos while I still can. There. Thank you, thank back to deck five. you 
know, I would expect some kind of physical consequence to Shodan taking over the ship's computer, like, I don't know, less of these freaking enemies, reduction in the respawn, something. Oh well, doesn't matter. Primary elevator shaft is open now, so let's hit the button. There's only one possible destination. We've been taken to Deck 6, Command, and we're going to end the video here. This has been Let's Play System Shock 2. We turned on the transmitter, we weakened Xerxes enough for Shodan to take control of the ship's computer. She's taken us to the Command Deck for reasons we don't yet know. We'll find out next time. Until then, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.